Well, what Ellen's doing now is a technique called spit biting, where she's applying acid directly to an aqua tinted plate. Traditionally, you would dip the plate into a bath of acid. But this gives the artist a, uh, a softer etching. Uh, it gives them control over the tonality. Printmaking is so full of process and techniques and things like that, but um, she'll say, how can I do something? How can I make this? And my role as a facilitator is to try to figure out the best way to do something, you know, and something that she'll be able to work with. And Ellen will pick up on this in two seconds. And she'll add this to her, you know, vocabulary of techniques. What was exciting for me was what happens as uh, whimsy in the drawings or a kind of decision that is made purely with an improvisational spirit. Um, here had to be then turned into structure because it had to be repeated 20 times. We just keep discovering new things, breaking barriers. I mean, this is far beyond what people traditionally think of as a print. But they are multiples. It's like this relationship of teaching you how to uh, construct something, and then you know, watching you sort of take it apart, and and that's part of the collaboration. Is I think there's like, you know, that I can then go in and cut something that uh, a master printer took however long to um, get perfectly. That that took a certain. That's amount of balls. Well, <laughs> it's because <laughs> yeah. it's a you're in a point of the relationship between a printer and artist, studio and artist mm -hmm. that is so comfortable that you know it makes you smile that they're like willing to do that and and you know just because everybody wants to produce a perfect piece of art at the end mm -hmm. and it's it's very difficult to get that um, rapport. Yeah, but it's been very natural here.